Welcome to the Davis Art Professional Development video series. Since 1901, Davis has been dedicated to increasing the quality and quantity of visual arts education around the world. All Davis curricula are designed to save art educators time and to improve the art instruction experience for teachers and students alike. This is the Davis Studio Series, developed with the specialized needs of the studio art teacher in mind. Each book in this series is a careful blend of practical, hands-on experience, inspiring artwork, and relevant career information. Whether you teach drawing, painting, sculpture, clay, printmaking, photography, or graphic design, you can be sure that each book in the series is the work of a professional educator who is an expert in the field, well acquainted with classroom demands and contemporary practice. Each title in the studio series focuses on a single art form or medium and allows students to develop skills through carefully sequenced in-depth studio experiences. Students explore a wide variety of tools, techniques, and traditions as they turn fundamental concepts and processes into meaningful hands-on practice. Master Artwork in the series offers students a rich and diverse mix of cultures, genders, and historical periods. Exemplary student work has been carefully chosen from outstanding contemporary classrooms. You'll find the elements of art and principles of design clearly presented throughout the series, along with consistent career information, meaningful interdisciplinary connections, and formative and summative assessments. To introduce you to the Davis Studio Series, we'd like to take you on a tour of the student and teacher editions of Experience Painting, written by Dr. John Howell White of Kutztown University. Dr. White holds a PhD in art education, as well as an MFA in painting. Let's start with the student book. First, let's review the contents to get a sense of the book's organization. After an overview of painting basics, the book is organized by painting media, from tempera and gouache through dry media like pastels and colored pencils. Other chapters include watercolor and ink, acrylics, oils, and caustics, and wall painting. Wall painting includes murals, frescoes, and contemporary street art. The final chapter covers non-traditional painting methods, such as painting with fiber, metal, or digital projections. Notice that the end of the book provides students with important resources for easy reference. Now let's take a closer look at a complete chapter. We'll use chapter five, acrylics. The first two pages of every chapter offer students an inspiring overview of what's ahead. The left page includes a thought-provoking work of art with a caption that asks students to think deeply about what they see. A quotation from an artist offers another idea to consider. The right page includes a list of key terms covered and defined in the chapter, a brief introduction and short list of chapter concepts, and three details from artworks included in the chapter. As you turn the pages, you'll notice large images of dynamic artwork and clear, informative process photographs. Every chapter includes a section about art fundamentals that highlights an important concept, element of art, or principle of design. A fine art example demonstrates the featured concept. Every work of fine art includes a caption designed to encourage students to look closely, think critically, and compare and contrast. Each chapter includes at least one how-to section like this one. Using photos and sequential text, each demonstrates an important skill or technique. At key points throughout the text, students are encouraged to collaborate with others or work on their own to give new techniques or media a try. The highlighted Try It text makes these opportunities easy to find. Highlighted Discuss It text can be used to initiate class discussions or as writing prompts. An art history sidebar appears in every chapter to showcase the work of an artist from the past and explain how it relates to the chapter content. Every chapter includes a two-page student gallery where students can observe, discuss, and critique the work of students their own age. A hands-on studio experience allows students to apply the techniques and skills they've learned throughout the chapter while making creative decisions and developing their artistic voice. Each experience is clearly organized. Goals and materials are presented prominently, 
and step-by-step -step procedures are carefully described and illustrated. A series of Check It questions ensures that students carefully examine their work before they hand it in, and a detailed assessment rubric spells out expectations for every aspect of the experience. By reading each chapter's career profile, students get a sense of what it's like to work as a professional in the field of visual art. The question and answer format enables students to read the artist's answers in his or her own words. Examples of the artist's work accompany each interview. Each chapter ends with a chapter review. Review questions are based on Bloom's taxonomy and require students to use a variety of thinking skills to interpret the chapter content. The review page also offers students opportunities to write about a specific aspect of the chapter content and to organize, expand, reflect on, or evaluate the work in their own portfolios. We'll complete our walkthrough of the student book by looking at the resources section at the end of the book. First, this History of Painting offers students a visual journey through time with examples of important world artworks from many cultures and explanations of their historical context. Next, the illustrated handbook provides background information on painting's fundamental concepts, explains its tools and materials, and offers approaches to painting setups, safety, storage, and display. The glossary provides clear definitions for all keywords that appear in boldface within the text. The index allows quick access to concepts, tools, materials, and artists by name. Now, let's get acquainted with the Teacher Edition of Experience Painting. Like all the Teacher Editions in the Davis Studio series, this book is packed with additional content and resources that allow you to customize each lesson and studio experience based on your school setting, classroom, and students' needs. The design allows you to see the entire student page while providing teaching strategies and background information designed specifically for your use. The first section of the Teacher Edition offers general information about teaching with this textbook, including ways to incorporate art history, using the program's rubrics and assessment tools, and teaching about careers. A list of artists whose works appear in the student text clearly demonstrates the time periods and countries represented. The list of contemporary artists also includes artist websites. A list of museums and galleries and a review of safe classroom painting practices rounds out the section. Now we will look at Chapter 5 of the Teacher Edition. As you look at the opening pages, you'll see a tinted panel at the left and right hand edges. These panels appear on every page of the chapter, offering you resource suggestions, chapter objectives, background information, and teaching tips. Point of use definitions for vocabulary words mean you'll never lack a definition when you need one. Features like design extensions offer you hands-on ways to extend students' skills, while inquiry activities encourage students to conduct independent or collaborative research. Interdisciplinary connections help students connect art to other areas of study, while aesthetics and responding to art help them understand, consider, and critique works of art. On the Studio Experience pages, you'll find clear objectives for the lesson, set up suggestions to help you prepare ahead of time, display tips, and assessment strategies, all designed to ensure an inspiring lesson. On each career profile page, you can find additional information about the artist, including websites or other resources. Lastly, you'll find suggested answers to the chapter review questions. An array of supporting ancillaries accompanies all Studio Series books. Reproducible Studio Support Masters allow you to provide students with step-by-step -step instructions for all Studio experiences without referring to the textbook itself. Vocabulary Masters offer innovative ways to reinforce each chapter's new vocabulary, while the art and artist's profiles acquaint students with the lives of selected artists from the text and encourage engagement with their works. The reproducible assessment masters provide each student with clear studio expectations based on the rubrics for each studio experience. This concludes our overview of the Davis Studio Series. Each title has been carefully designed to meet your needs, and we always appreciate your feedback. To find out more about this program or other Davis products, including Davis Digital, the Davis Arts Image Subscription, or the Art Education in Practice Series, 
visit davisart.com. Contact us directly by email at contactus at davisart.com or call 1-800-533-2847.